Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Minutes of Freddy's news video. Today, oh my god, today we have four screenshots of Five Minutes at Freddy's 6, 2, 3, and 4 running on the Nintendo Switch. These screenshots look absolutely incredible, and I honestly just cannot wait for these ports. We don't have a release date just yet, but if I had to guess, based on these screenshots, Probably next year, probably early next year, which is just insane. Quarter 1 2020 is my guess, but again, no release date just yet. So Click Team, like I said, just released four screenshots of FNAF 6, 2, 3, and 4 running on the Nintendo Switch. We can see um, how the offices look like, how the bedroom looks like. Um, we also see a main menu, and we can also see a little bit of controls for the game. So let's not waste any more time. And let's jump to the screenshots, okay? Click team on Twitter saying some hashtag FNAF progress on Switch. No date yet, stay tuned. And then obviously the four screenshots, so let's take a look at them. The first one being of FNAF 6, and obviously we can see the Switch console here in the handheld mode. It's not on a TV screen, it's not on a computer monitor, it's in the handheld position. The same thing applies for all four of the teasers. So again, FNAF 6, we have already um, done a little bit of analysis on this because there was a, uh, a video release a few months back showing some gameplay on it, but now we have a screenshot of the office. Looking at the monitor, we can see some controls in the bottom left, and really it's nothing that we haven't seen already. But again, to turn on and off the computer is the X, which is up here, and then to turn on and off the fan is Y, which is this button right here. To navigate between the tabs, this the rest of this is just speculation, so this isn't official, I'm just getting my thoughts out there. I'm guessing to navigate the tags, you'll use the bumpers on the joysticks, and then to move up and down, you'll use um, the right, or sorry, this is the left, can't get my left and right, uh, right, apparently. You'll use the left joystick, joystick to scroll up and down to select probably A. Those are my guesses. The only controls we know for certain, I believe, in this screenshot are X and Y for the fan and the computer. And that's it. That's all we have to, um, that's all we know. So we're going to move on to the next screenshot. And this one is a nice, simple one of Five Nights at Freddy's 2 uh, title screen. Obviously, we can see that it is exactly, well, almost exactly like it is on the computer with, um, you know, the name, the toy animatronics, the new game, and they continue. But we also have the unlocks. Now, we did see this in a, um, in a video a while back, but that was on FNAF 1. So what FNAF 2's unlocks are gonna be, not entirely sure. It's probably going to be mostly similar to the first game's unlocks, um, for the ports, which I believe were the Radar, Unlimited Power, and... Faster Knights, though that I might be getting those confused with um, FNAF 4's extra <laughs> extra menu, but um, I'm sure it's going to be almost identical to uh, the first game, and I'm sure all the other games are going to apply um, with those unlocks as well. We don't have any controls in this screenshot, but of course we can speculate. I'm guessing we use this joystick to move up and down, and then A to select a new game or continue. Really not that complicated. Okay, next screenshot is FNAF 3's um, left office, when we're looking left. As far as I'm aware, I don't think we've seen any gameplay of FNAF 3 running on the Nintendo Switch. I think it's just been the first and sixth game, so this is entirely new. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any controls in this screenshot. Uh, it looks exactly like it looks like on PC, which is just absolutely awesome. The fact that it's going to be exactly the same across every single platform ever, whether it's mobile, console, or PC, it's gonna be awesome to play the exact same FNAF game. So in the bottom center, we can see the maintenance panel, mute phone guy in the top left, and then top right, we have the night and the, uh, the time. Looks like they're on night two at 12 a.m. So again, <laughs> no controls. So I'm guessing this is going to be a certain button, maybe X or Y. Um, I don't think it would be B and A, so you probably press one button, and then when it opens up, you can use this joystick to go up and down, and then A to select what system you want to reboot. That's not official, again, just speculation, and now we're moving on to the fourth and final screenshot, ironically, of Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Closet. Now, there are controls up here, like they're on the PC, but it's a little bit difficult to make them out, so closed doors is to hold some button. I, I'm guessing maybe that's B or maybe that's a bumper or a trigger. 
I honestly cannot tell from the screenshot. If you guys know what it says, leave a comment down in the comment section. Use the flashlight, you hold another button, can't really make out what that says unfortunately, and then press X to hide the tips, just like it was on the PC. How ironic. And then it looks like that is the left bumper to turn and run back to the center of the room. And unfortunately, their light is not on, so we can't see the closet, but it's still an awesome screenshot nonetheless. And the fact that they have um, screenshots and gameplay trailers of like five out of the six or seven games that they're making is just absolutely incredible. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw this, but uh, Click Team did announce that they're not specifically working on one game at a time. They're bouncing between the games, which is a little bit confusing, but you know, hopefully they'll all be released at the same time uh, because they're doing that. And that's it. Again, there's no release date for the Switch ports just yet. In fact, there's no no release dates for any of the ports, though they are releasing updates for the official iOS and I believe Android as well um, updates for FNAF 1 and 6. So if you want to hop over on your phone and get those, they are absolutely amazing. I have both of them and they are just really, really fun to play on the go. Again, no release date. My speculation is quarter one of 2020, which is really, really soon. So yeah, hopefully uh, we get more information on the ports very, very soon. So thanks everyone. Again, the post is linked down below. If you want to go take a look at the screenshots by yourself, feel free to. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all for more news in the future. Goodbye on the flip side. Goodbye.